Hi, BizHack. In this video, I'm going to show you the different um, submenus that you have under the account assets menu in LinkedIn Campaign Manager. So some of the things we'll be looking at are um, how to create matched audiences, which is basically LinkedIn's version of Facebook custom audiences, and also how to retrieve leads that you've captured through a LinkedIn lead generation campaign. So let's begin. Um, when you open up, or rather when you have your LinkedIn campaign manager open, um, the account assets uh, menu is the third one from the top. And when you click that, you'll see that you have several sub menus. So if we look at something uh, like the insight tag, we'll look at this menu first. The insight tag, if you recall, is uh, LinkedIn's version of the Facebook pixel. So it's a snippet of code that you can install on your website. So that way you can start tracking visitors who also have LinkedIn accounts and that you can then um, you know, retarget later on with, with, uh, ret with in, a, in a retargeting campaign. Um, so. Uh, this is a little more manual than it is for Facebook. So if you're going to install a LinkedIn insight tag, you will, you know, you might need to request the help of a developer. Um, if, if you're not accustomed to working with, with code or injecting code. Um, so, so consult with a developer before trying to do it yourself and installing it yourself on your website. Conversion tracking, I won't be able to show you, um, but that is going to, that's going to be similar to the pixels menu on Facebook. So you'll be able to see basically all of the data that the insight tag is reporting back. Um, that's related to uh, recent website visits. The next menu is matched audiences. So here you have a couple of options. Um, one of them is uh, website audiences, which you'll be, able, which is similar to Facebook's um, custom audiences, web traffic custom audiences. So you'll be able to create a matched audience out of people who have visited a specific URL on your website or specific URLs. So you can add another one by clicking this add another URL right over here. So that way you can create a combination of people who have visited, um, you know, what, you know, either this page or this page. Um, then you can also, um, you know, what I would recommend here is changing it from exact to contains. So that way uh, you don't have to worry about um, getting the exact URL especially if it's something that's going to change periodically. Um, so maybe just getting a snippet of that URL uh, would probably be easier. Uh, so just select contains on either one of those options. The other type of matched audience that you have is upload list audiences. So this is the equivalent of uploading um, your contact list in Facebook. It's the same exact process. So you're going to have to have a list of emails on a spreadsheet on a, a .csv file. And then um, uh, LinkedIn will allow you to upload it. However, they're a little stricter than Facebook in that you need to have at least 300 uh, contacts. So if you notice, notice what happens when I try to upload this one. I'll go to my upload file button over here. I'll find the CSV file that I'd like to upload. So there, there's my file. Now watch what happens when I click next. It tells me that you must have at least 300 valid email addresses. Um, so, you know, that was something I noticed you know, uh, as I was uploading it and I clicked on next, um, you know, it's something I think LinkedIn could have done a better job of telling us here, you know, they're giving us lots of information here, but they, they're not mentioning that 300, um, 
valid email addresses rule. So um, just keep that in mind uh, before you decide to upload a file um, and make sure that you have at least 300 valid email addresses. I can tell you that this file that I tried to upload only has about 120 something email addresses. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm way short of the 300 minimum that they're requesting. Then lastly, what I'm going to show you is the lead generation forms menu over here. The lead generation forms menu is where you'll be able to retrieve um, any leads that your campaign has generated. So it's not as, um, you know, it's not as easy as the, as in Facebook, because you're going to have to go to another menu here. Um, but essentially, what you'll have to do is if in your campaign, so if you notice that your campaign has generated some leads, and I'll show you an example here. We jump over to the ads. Not sure what that message was about, so disregard. All right, so when I go down to my active campaign, all right, so this campaign right here has two leads. So if I want to retrieve those leads, I have to go back up to the account assets menu, go to lead gen forms, find the name of the form and um, for those leads. So you have to, so just like on Facebook, you have to name the form. And then I'm gonna go to download leads over here. And as you can see, that downloaded a CSV file for me. And when you open it, you're going to have your new leads contact information. So just ignore all of this noise over here. And you'll notice here in the last three columns is where you have your leads name, email address, phone number, and company name. Last five columns, I'm sorry. And you can just you know disregard the rest of this over here. And that does it. That concludes a tour of the LinkedIn Campaign Manager account assets menu. Um, be sure to watch the other video, um, which will show you how to build a LinkedIn campaign. All right, so I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.